We did this kind of with an eye before we saw there were only two tight ends and two running backs. So these are uh, running backs that have been released um, by other teams prior to the, uh, to the last final minutes. We didn't update this uh, at, uh, after 345, so this was as of like 20 minutes ago. Um, Salvan Ahmed from the Dolphins had been productive. Isaiah Spiller, kind of a dual threat guy. James Robinson is an intriguing one. Boston Scott from Philadelphia has been productive. Matt Breida, uh, Mike Boone, and then we know the Browns were kind of interested in Frank Gore Jr. The Bills released him. Um, of those guys, anybody jump out as, as somebody that would make sense um, for the Browns to be looking at there, Casey? None of them more than Deonta Foreman. Um, <laughs> I look at Matt Breida, James Robinson. Those are probably the two that I would look at of uh, that group. And if they had serious interest in Frank Gore Jr. during the draft process and during him being a UDFA, so – you could think there might, they might have an evaluation on him that would lend them to believe he could fulfill a role. Uh, but I just look at that list, and I'm not, you know, obviously overwhelmed by any of them. Uh, I would still lean Deonta Foreman out of that group. All right. Uh, here are a look at some of the tight ends. Same deal. We um, compiled these uh, about 345. So C.J. Uzama from the Eagles, um, E.J. Jenkins also from the Eagles. Steven Carlson was here. Um, with the Bears, Jody Fortson from the Dolphins, Irv Smith Jr., um, and Donald Parham, a uh, really good receiving tight end. Uh, blocking, eh. Um, interesting to note, we had Peyton Hendershoot from the Cowboys on that list, but um, shortly after we put him on it, they traded him to the Chiefs for a seventh-round pick. Um, any, of yeah, those, any of those guys intrigue you? It just depends on the, how they want to configure the roster. Uh, I, I see this team content with only having two tight ends on the active roster, which would make sense if you can get a player like Zaire Mitchell Payton to the practice squad. He could be a guy that you see get called up when they feel like they need that third tight end. But there's there's definitely upgrades on there if you want to roster three tight ends. C.J. Uzoma, Irv Smith, Donald Parm. I think those are all excellent additions and would easily, they could probably even vie for tight end two on this team, to be honest. It just depends on how you want to configure the team. If they're content with just two tight ends with different skill sets, obviously in Joku's and overall tight end can do everything. You know, Akins is more of the guy that you want to flex out, get in the passing game. Uh, but like someone like Uzoma, like I think that he can do everything that a, a inline tight end can do and kind of give you the extra stuff. So if they want to roster three tight ends, there are three candidates on that list I'd be okay with. I seem to think that they're okay with only two on the active and try to get someone on their practice squad that they feel they can elevate. And for me, that would be ZMP. All right. So um, here's a look at some of the tackles that uh, have become available. Now, with Fetty being on, um, also being let go, these are not as huge of a deal. They may weigh... Do we like Afedi better than these guys? Afedi has been here, but you got Jackson Carmen uh, from Cincinnati, Caleb Jones from the Packers, Dennis Daly from the Cardinals, Jesse Davis from the Saints, and Royce Newman from the Packers. Um, any of those guys pique your interest, or you you think Afedi makes more sense? Pretty bleak, right? That's that's not a. And you wonder if if it would be different if Callahan were still here. Maybe you take a swing on on a Jackson Carmen. You know, someone with a, with a high ceiling, they weren't able to get him there in Cincinnati. Maybe you feel like you could develop him. But the uh, Fetty one, the reason it didn't make sense, I get you want J, JV and Cohen. They were obviously out on him. And for me, he was the last guy in that room. The Fetty has inside-outside versatility, and he's a veteran. So for me, he would f check more boxes. Uh, but they must be content with the health of their tackles. They must be very convinced they're getting some guys back to let Fetty go. So I'm going to uh, side with them and uh, pass on those prospects. So